What's good? It's your boy Dre, also known as Mr. Po Folk Everything. And today, I'm back with another one. Today, we're going to talk about LS swaps and how to make under your hood appear to look factory. So, we're going to look at my swap. 1988 Monte Carlo. We're going to look at the engine swap that I did. So if you look under my hood, it looks fairly stock. Like if you didn't know any better, you would say that this engine came in this car. Now we have a lot going on over in this area right here, but it's loomed up nicely and it's tucked away. Um, also, if you look over this area right here, it's loomed up nicely, tucked away. Um, we do have a couple of colors of wires right here, but that's only for some relays that we had to go to our fans. So we're going to start out with the water pump. I'm using a LS1 water pump. Instead of having the nipple coming off of the top like a truck water pump, the nipple now comes off the side. And if you look at a truck water pump, it'll have a nipple right there blocked off right there on the ls1 it has a nipple right there and it's blocked off right there now what i did was i used that now when you use it so the ls1 water pump i guess sits back three quarters of an inch farther than the truck water pump so what i had to do was i had to get the little adapters that sit in the middle of the block and the water pump I got those off of um, ICT billet. I also got this bracket right here off of ICT billet because when you use the LS1 water pump, it comes over farther. Um, so you have to cut the little ear off of your stock bracket. And then you have to get this little piece right here in, in order to move over the idler to be able to utilize it. So that's what I did. I also got that bracket off ICT billet. Um, this hose right here, a lot of people who's using the truck hose, it got to come up over here, come across and then go over here or go under. It just didn't look clean enough for me. So what I did was I got a 1998 Dodge Neon upper radiator hose. Now you can see the bins is just what you need. A lot of people don't know. So I'm, I'm giving y'all some game right now. A 1998 Dodge Neon upper radiator hose. That's what I'm using. Also, um, a lot of people remove the heater slash AC box from the back. Now, me personally, I don't care about AC, but I definitely want to have heat. So, if you try to put this motor in and put it in the factory location that the small block was in, it might not fit. It hit the, um, the back. So, what I had to do was I had to move the motor an inch forward. Well, when I did, I ran into an issue with the power steering pulley hitting the steering box. So, what I did was I went on to... Uh, lssimple.com and I ordered the small pulley for the power steering pump. I put it on and haven't ran into any issues. 